We know you're not from around here when you call it Worcester. It's Worcester. Hey everyone, Matt Swirk here. I'm a local real estate expert right in Massachusetts with the Legacy Star Team Bar by Keller Williams Realty. So you've been here before, you know we talk everything about Massachusetts. All you do is you click the button, you click subscribe, you, we make videos, you get notified, you have questions, we have answers. Remember, when it comes to Massachusetts, we've always got your back. All right, today we're talking about the pros and the cons of our second biggest city here in Massachusetts, Worcester, Massachusetts. Um, I love Worcester, Mass. Have a lot of fond memories as a kid. That's one of the first concerts I went to see. Um, I saw Rush out there on the Presto tour, so that was pretty cool. Um, so we won't get into a lot of the uh, side chatter here. I'm going to go fast and furious. What is it that people like as far as moving to Worcester, Mass, right? Um, some people love the location, right, uh, as far as where it's located because you really like an hour here, hour there, there, there. You're going to get, you know, wherever you're traveling to, whether it's New Hampshire, Boston, Western Mass, Connecticut, it's about an hour, right? Um, however, one of the big highlights I think I love about Worcester is the fact that there's so much hiking around the area. There's a lot of white, uh, yeah, there's a lot of um, walking trails, really cool uh, public golf course down there, Green Hills um, Golf Course. Green Hills has a nice walking area. Area. Uh, but you're very close to Mount Wachusett, you're close to um, Purgatory Chasm, the uh, Trout Brook Reservation. Uh, there's a lot of things to do in a really small area and you wouldn't expect that, you know, being right next to the city. So that's something I think is really cool as far as Worcester's concerned. Uh, we're always talking education when it comes to uh, Massachusetts and, um, you know, we're not in Boston, but we're out in Worcester, same thing, lots of great schools. So you have uh, Worcester Polytech, you have Clark, you have Becker, you have Assumption, um, UMass Medical, you have Holy Cross. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I know there's a bunch more that I'm forgetting, uh, but that's really, um, really helped as far as the jobs are concerned and having the student population come in. Um, some people say there's not a lot to do, and, and I, I, I disagree with that. Uh, but, the, you know, there's a lot of uh, colleges in higher education there. So I think that's another great point as far as uh, either coming to the city to live there for education, uh, I mean, to go to school, or if you want to uh, get a job in the education sector, right? So I got I to gotta dive into the next thing. I, I think there's a lot to do in Worcester, right? Uh, it's not just a couple bars up and down Shrewsbury Street, right? Like, that's a great place. There's a lot. Of, we're going to do another video about some of the cool breweries down there. Um, however, because, number one, because there's the colleges, you know, they're going to have the activities that are brought on campus, right? So you have some of those organizations of things you can do. Uh, there's the Hanover Theater. I'm actually, um, I'm big into theater. My uh, my grandmother was uh, this close to becoming an opera singer. So I've seen a lot of great operas. I've been to a lot of great shows down there. Uh, seen a lot of cool musicals. We brought our kids to go see Aladdin down at the uh, Hanover Theater. Really, really nice place. They had done this all over. It was an old, just decrepit theater, and they really dumped a lot of money into a rehab. It was amazing. Um, you also have the Worcester Art Museum. You have, um, there's awesome, great, you know, um, hist historical society. I was going to say hysterical societies, which I feel a little bit right now. Um, but there is, uh, oh, Mechanics Hall. Mechanics Hall is another place to go. Um, just outside there, there's, um, this is not actually in the city, but there's uh, Tower Botanical Gardens, which is beautiful. So there's a lot of things to do. So you just have to kind of pull out that little book that shows you where to go. Lots of outdoor activities, lots of things to do. Uh, Worcester is a really fun place to be. Now, on the other side, what is it people don't like about Worcester, right? I think the people don't like the, the fact that they don't feel it's like the cities, it's not a huge city by any means, but it's kind of different pockets and kind of spread out. Um, it's not very easily maneuverable as far as walking. Um, I was talking to someone that said, Matt, like, I, it drives me crazy. Like, the sidewalk just ends out of nowhere, and you're like, okay, where am I supposed to go next, right? So just kind of the, the connectedness of the city and the walkability of the city has been, you know, something that people aren't really a big fan of. Um, another thing, and I, and I hate to bring it up in all the videos, but it's, it is what it is. The weather, oh my gosh, some of the snow, like Worcester gets, they've averaged 65 inches of snow uh, for the, like consistently over the past decade, right? So like they get a lot of snow out there um, and it's cold, you know, it, it is what it is. So the, the more you move in away from the coast, you know, it's going to be colder, you're going to get more snow. That's a fact. 
Um, the other thing I would say, and this is my perception as far as being a Boston City kid, um, I, just because Quincy was so close to Boston, so like that was my playground. So, uh, but a Boston kid versus a Worcester kid. Boston has gone through its transformation as far as being a little bit run down and kind of, you know, it never really got run down. Uh, and there's been, you know, more and more as far as development and, and really, you know, the city growing. Worcester kind of has that feel that it got stuck and hasn't gone through that transformation process yet. Right, so you're going to have that feeling. There's some areas. It's like no other. I mean, I mean, it's like every other city. There's good areas. There's bad areas. There's not, you know, the, it's not the. Um, I was going to say the combat zone of Boston that most people won't recognize because that was years and years and years ago. So I dated myself there. Not that big of a deal, um, but it's something. You know, there are. Especially in my line of work as far as being a residential rehabber and seeing opportunities to take some older neighborhoods and develop them into nicer areas, uh, that's definitely happened. The Worcester housing market has definitely appreciated quite a bit and the Worcester rental market has appreciated quite a bit. I would say that could be a con as well. Um, there are a lot of people have migrated out of Worcester going up into Central Mass because uh, the rents have gone up so high, right? Um, so there is some there is some of that feeling in some of the other areas that haven't had the opportunity to start to turn that feels really run down and suppressed. So, um, but it's really I mean, th th like I said, there's a place called Shrewsbury Street where there's a lot of really great restaurants. Um, there's a lot that's going on for the city, right? And we're not going to go through this long, long list. Uh, tell us, and Matt, you talk too much. That's okay. We're going short and sweet on these. Um, so there's just a couple little things as far as some of the pros and cons of Worcester. So we're always here to be a resource for you, whether you're looking to relocate, whether you're looking to move, you just want to come visit. Uh, definitely give us a call, shoot us a text, shoot us an email. When it comes to Massachusetts, we've always got your back.